Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare SendGrid and MailChimp. The first thing I'm going to talk about is like if I actually recommend both of these email marketing services, then I will compare pricing plans and then I will look on features and some advantages and disadvantages I personally see. I'm not paid by SendGrid or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other that you should use that or that. I'm just going to give you my honest review. And my honest review is that I don't recommend using SendGrid or MailChimp in today's time. Two or three years back, for sure. But right now, MailChimp is just trash also with the SendGrid. And let me explain you why. Now, SendGrid. SendGrid pricing plan is all right, but the customer support is non-existent. And also they are going to close your account at like any moment. So when I would, <laughs> I had account and SendGrid for like to learn how it works, etc. And when I wanted to sign in again, your login was unsuccessful. Please review the errors below. And I'm like, what? And then I create another account and I'm like, why they are deleting randomly accounts. And this is what I read also by the reviews on Trustpilot that other people had a suspended my account for no reason. Extreme poor support repeat, can log in no customer support that other people had the same problems as me. And I'm like, why is it happening that the delivery rate is really bad? The no refund that when you're going to pay money, they're not going to refund you. Your subscriber list that you will have, you will be, be forgotten and lost. So these are the way, like the things that for what reason I wouldn't use SendGrid at all. Non-existent support, randomly delete your account and bad delivery rates. And I didn't even get to the main features, but right now, based on this, I just personally wouldn't use it. Comparing to also MailChimp, it's like another level. It's not 1.3, but 1.7 stars out of five. That also two three years back, amazing platform. But right now, comparing to MailRite Send in Blue, I will show them to you. MailChimp is just bad. You know, not only because the customer support and also the high pricing plans but the delivery rate is all right should be all right but many people are saying that they had problems with delivering so again mailchimp not that great anymore and let me just show you active campaign 4.6 send in blue look at this 4.6 mail right 4.1 do, do you see the difference here between reviews of these email marketing services. So SendGrid, okay, you get the simple A-B testing with the pricing plans. They are cheap. If I'm going to pay 20 email, send 20,000 emails a month, you're not going to send so much money, right? But right now the pro 100,000 is, of course, uh, too, like it's expensive, more expensive. Essential 40K, 20,000 emails, $15 a month, Damn, amazing, right? With A-B testing, with that you can actually create, you can read everything here and it's like, all right. Comparing to MailChimp, MailChimp is really expensive in today's times. So for 5,000 subscribers on Essential, you're gonna pay $52, $53. You're gonna pay $30 in mail, right? In standard version, you're gonna pay $80. So that's like quite expensive. And the free account offers you 2,000 contacts. So that's great, I mean, for the beginning. But personally, I just wouldn't open account in SendGrid. You can open account MailChimp and test it out by yourself. But what I would do, I would go definitely with MailRite because in MailRite, you're gonna have all mm, features available also on a free plan. So you can actually learn how to do automations. MailChimp, how to do it, how to build emails is simple. The drag and drop system is cool. Now, when you want to create the automations. You can simply just start building. Let me just start it. And it's quite simple and quite easy. But again, comparing to uh, MailRite or even Sending Blue is much harder to understand and learn how to use it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments, but don't use these platforms, please. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs>